Okay, our only group pitching today is CJ and Stephen. Take it away, boys. Um, ours is called Second Thoughts. Just to let you go. Um, our concept is that a young boy is pressured in committing a crime, which is going to be an enigma code, as you won't see at the actual crime. Um, he is scarred for life as he tries to take his own, own life. Uh, we, we want to portray a sense of thriller, which is um, a feeling of uncertainty by depending on the enigma code. And yeah. So this is what happens. The boy, um, he joined, joined the gang recently, but however, since they pressured him to do the murder, which he didn't want to do, so then since he's committed it already, he's got away with it and it's, his mind's not being the same anymore, he can't think properly. And then the gang's there just like praising him for what he's done, but he knows it's not good. And then his ultimate conclusion is to take his own life. However, <coughs> a character does come <coughs> and then tries to persuade him, but it's too late for him, for all the that, it's too late to be persuaded. And he ultimately goes and takes his life away. That's in the it, that, In the whole film or in that two minutes? No, he was in the, in the whole film. Right, okay. Right. Uh, inspiration. Um, Kid Out Hood is a major inspiration for our film, our opening sequence, yes. as it um, resembles an urban element. Um, it's relatable for the people who live in the urban area. For example, Hackney, as we grow up, live, um, grow up when it's crime, um, gang violence, and drugs. And this this is going to help raise. A con this is going to contribute to raising awareness to the races and classes. Um, yeah, of the last time that we live. Um, another inf major influence is Seven. It's only mainly because of the, the thriller element to it. So the the black and white kind of feeling, the Enigma codes that they did use, especially the close ups they used in the opening sequence, is is pretty key. As well as um, the way, like the most of the main is probably just the cinematography of it, they play a massive part. Um, I'll be a key character as I'm the one who commits the crime and tries to commit suicide. Um, I think I'll be a good um, I'll be a good character to play this role because I, I was born and bred in Hackney, so I know what it's like to live in an urban area, living in free violence and crime. Um, we will have the, a local gang, just a group of five to eight boys that are there just to big up the main character for the murder he's put, um, committed. So they will just be there just standing around doing what like the social media will see as. They'll just follow the stereotypes of what gang members do, so probably sitting around tracksuits, hoodies, smoking or whatever and that. So they will be there and they'll play key characters in that as well. There's a life change of character who is probably going to be a female. Um, this is because they have a major impact on boys and they can influence. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can <laughs> have um they can influence people. Boys in particular. Um the main the with the costumes we've decided to go with this just the stereotypical urban kind of feeling, so we're going with tracksuits, hoodies, just to keep it conventional we don't want to be able to subvert it too much so we just want to keep it a bit simple we also have a mixture of high key and low key lighting just to reflect the moods of the current situation for example when he's stressing out mentally we can have it in low key lighting with just some high key lighting just on him just to make him stand out a bit more and then to keep it even more conventional just keep it in an urban setting so in a local estate so it doesn't. So the audience don't get confused from what they're watching. So it's the genre stays the same, which is an urban thriller. Um, music and sound is a massive part in the opening sequence. Um, Six Seven is a well-known rap uh, group, and we may potentially use this and as, as um, an example because they. Do you mean for your soundtrack? Yeah, soundtrack, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know their lifestyle, gangs, violence, drugs, sex, 
Yeah. Um, we also have just um, I think it's diegetic sound. So the gunshots at the very beginning. So like that, that sound alone, not seeing what's going on, just having a black screen of some gunshots will just make the audience think what what's going on, which enhances the Enigma code. Yeah. And as well as mixing it with the action code as well. So that that's why it plays a big part. Um, visual styles as well. We we took David Fincher's kind of thing with the black and white from Seven, so we wanted to keep it monochrome. So it's like just um, the like the thoughts of the character, the main character who's about to commit suicide. So it's just black and white right now. It's not really too sure what's going on. It's either this or it's either that. So that that's the kind of thing we've used as well with the with the close-ups as well. And for a title itself, we were going to keep it black and white just to keep it plain. And we wasn't going to follow the conventions of the urban film by putting in a graffiti font. We'll just have it in bold, black and white writing, with a black, ground, black background with white writing on it as well. And I think that's about it. Well, done, boys. Um, you know, Seven isn't black and white, don't you? It is at the beginning. It's like kind of fadey looking black and whitish. What, in the titles? Yeah, no, like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And the title's black and white. It's black, black and white. It is. It's got Brad Pitt. I remember it clearly. Brad Pitt written it black and white. So. That, yeah, the, what? That, that bit and then... Oh, you mean the writing? Yeah. Not the actual film. Oh, sorry, the titles are in black and white. Yeah, yeah the so. titles are in black and white. Yeah, I thought you meant the actual film was in black yeah. and white. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, so, uh, just, just, to, just to clarify then about your, about your narrative. So you, you're you doing an urban film, this is the second kind of urban one that we've got, urban but yours film. which has got like this urban feel to it, but yours is a bit more like um, supernatural <laughs> was the word you used to describe this day. Yours is like realist, yeah? Urban yeah. thriller. Yeah. Okay, but so what, what are the elements of thriller that you've got in there? Because to me it just sounds like more oh, of a drama than a thriller. No, there's like, um, there'll be like, for example in the beginning we are looking to have like a close up with the gun and the hand with the blood all over it so it's got the eerie type of feeling and then there'll be like like it'll just be a bit graphic sometimes so when you, the drugs are there and all the so why is that a thriller why is it a thriller yeah because that sounds if i saw kid up with a top boy i wouldn't call them thrillers mm. there will be there'll be more elements to the thrillers that are coming up and cast the question up very much Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, fair enough. Uh, and uh, CJ, so in terms of that two minute open scene, so the culmination of it is because is the, you, I think you disagreed. I, I asked Stephen a question, I think you disagreed with it because I said, is that the whole film was the two minutes and you were saying it's the two minutes? So at the end of your two minute scene, someone's killing themselves. Is that oh, true? no, no. No. You, you just no I don't want to spoil the movie. Open <laughs> 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 the secret so. But there isn't going to be a movie. <laughs> we're making the first two minutes. And I'm marking it, so you're not you, spoiling you it. You've got big cancer. <laughs> okay, but so so it doesn't end in a death. Either. No, not death, not cliffhanger. No, okay. So, yeah, cliffhanger, thank you. So it ends in a cliffhanger at yeah. the end of the two bit opening scene. Is that bad? No, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, Bailey? Um, you said that the character, the main character's been um, pressured into committing a murder. Um, how, will we, how will we, the audience, perceive this as he's being You're pressured into as oh, sharp stuff. Um, mm-hmm. When you see it, like, you already hit like there'll be sounds of the blackout, so there'll be just no, you won't see anything on screen. You just hear sounds, movement, and then the gunshots. So you've already hit the pressure, and then when he comes, there'll be a scene where he comes in, and then the the local boys be it's like bigging him up for what he's done, try pressure him to do more stuff for them. So then you've already told that he didn't want to do it, and you just see by the character's facial expressions and all sorts of stuff like that. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna ask. Um, you see the whole. Um, sequence where you plan on shooting it in black and white the whole thing. No, 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 no. Just the, the, um, the, the title, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be black and white. But the rest of the film will have colour in it. You could do it in black and white. Mm. It can often work with it. <clears throat> I think you need to think about where what you're filming comes in the narrative of your film. What I mean by this is, is that, is that opening two minutes you show, is that going to be the start of the film? Or is that going to be halfway through the film? So are you starting with a midpoint oh. and you're kind of flashing back? Yeah, it's a, bit, flashing. It's a flashback. That's, it's pretty yeah. basically the flashback. So in, in, if, if it is a flashback or is it, if it is a future thing, often that is shown by using monochrome. Monochrome is quite good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. The only time there will be the black and white is the, 
when I do the close up on the hand and the gun, so when you see the blood on the person's hand, yeah. you just see that that's the mainly, and then the blood will be just highlighted red, and the rest will be black and white. Yeah, you can just you can do that on um, Final Cut actually. Yeah. Yeah, you see um the setting. Are you planning on that? Is it going to be on a like, on an estate or something? Like yeah, that? just to keep the yeah. urban kind of feeling, and so don't really suffer from it. Just keep it I like. I think it's a really smart choice as well to not show any guns or anything, and to just use the sound effects. Yeah, don't get arrested. No, don't want to get arrested. No. So for health and safety reasons, but also for dramatic reasons, I think you're right. That Enigma code of just having the gunshots on a black screen is actually possibly more powerful. Is it? Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Well, I'm always.